everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we are going to study elasticity of demand. So let's get started. So we are going to study price elasticity of demand. Now, before studying price elasticity of demand, let's first understand what law of demand states. Now, we have studied about law of demand. Now, what does our law of demand states? So, law of demand states that price and quantity demanded are inversely related to each other. Which means that when price increases or rises, our quantity demanded falls. And similarly, when price falls, our quantity demanded increases. So this is what is law of demand. So this shows us that when price changes, our quantity demand also changes. But when we need to know by how much, so when we need to know by how much is our quantity demanded going to change because of this change in the price here comes the concept of price elasticity of demand. So this is what is price elasticity of demand. So let's look at our definition first. So price elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness. This is our keyword over here. The responsiveness of demand of a good to a change in its price. So this definition states that when there is change in price, by how much our demand or quantity demanded going to change. So if the price agar increase, ho rahe, to quantity demanded fall. So this means that when our price change, then the quantity demanded will change hoga. That is how much. When we how much, ki baat karte, tab our concept is price elasticity of demand. Now, price elasticity of demand, this concept was given by Marshall. And what did Marshall state? So, Marshall ke according, definition price elasticity ki hai, the, it is a ratio of a relative change in quantity demanded to a relative change in price. So, Marshall ke definition mein ek keyword hai, wo hai, Relative. Now, when we talk about relative, relative change basically means that we are going to measure our change in percentage terms. So, relative change ke jab hum baat karte, to iska matlab hai percentage change. And isi liye ab hamara formula kya banta hai? So, our formula for price elasticity is percentage change in quantity demanded to percentage change in price. Now, why do we take percentage change? Because we measure it in relative terms. So now, price elasticity of demand is given by percentage change in quantity demanded to percentage change in price, which can also be written as This can also be written as change in quantity demanded to so this is change in quantity demanded divided by Our original quantity so this is percentage change in quantity demanded now looking at percentage change in price so 
same goes with percentage change in price. So this is change in price upon original price. So further simplifying this, what we get is, so this is original quantity demanded. Isko further simplify karne ke baad kya hota hai? Change in quantity demanded, that is delta Q by original quantity demanded. Let's say this is Q whole divided by change in price. So change in price will be denoted by delta P upon original price. This will be given by P. Now basic math. How are we going to simplify this? This can be written as delta Q upon Q into P upon delta P. Isko further simplify karne ke baad kya aata hai? This will be delta Q upon delta P into P by Q. So, price elasticity of demand is given by now the final formula for price elasticity of demand is minus delta Q by delta P into P by Q. Now, why do we have this negative sign? Now, this negative sign is because of the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded.